Welcome to the Season of Self Love Podcast. I am your host, Naomi Banks, and I am thrilled to have you join me on this transformative journey. You see, every day we dive into a powerful conversation about self discovery, healing, and empowerment. This podcast is brought to you by Ask Naomi and Elevate Me Self Discovery, where we believe that loving yourself is the first step to living a fulfilling life. You can expect insightful discussions, practical tips, and inspiring stories. Plus, we occasionally welcome special guests who will share their unique perspectives on self-love and personal growth. So get comfy, grab your favorite beverage, and let's embark on this journey together. Because it's time to embrace the beautiful person that you are. So let's elevate our lives one episode at a time. Now let's get started. Hey, my beautiful souls, well, welcome back to the Season of Self Love Podcast. I am your host, Naomi Banks, and I am so happy to have you with me today. Now, as we continue to explore the theme of living life abundantly, this series is all about shifting from scarcity to plenty and embracing abundance in every areas of our lives. Well, today's episode is all about gratitude, the foundation of abundant living. You see, gratitude is one of the most powerful tools that we have to bring more joy, more prosperity, and fulfillment into our lives. So by focusing on what we are grateful for, we can start to cultivate an abundance mindset even when life feels challenging. So I am also thrilled to remind you that we have some amazing resources to support you on this journey. Um, of course, we have our free mini ebooks that are full of, um, in a full free ebook ebook, workbook, excuse me, living life abundantly, embracing prosperity and joy in every moment, which will be available soon on our website later this month, as well as these guys will design to help you to shift your mindset and break through limited beliefs and welcome um, more abundance into your life. All right, so before we get into the topic of here, let's take a quick break and then we come back. We're going to dive into gratitude. This is something that we talk about quite often. And you could never talk about gratitude, all right? You can never talk about being thankful for being gracious for everything in your life, right? All right, it's your girl, you guys. Now, brings here on the Season of Self Love podcast, and we'll be right Hey, it's your Gertie Goddess Nami Banks here from the Season of Self Love Podcast. Yeah, I would say remorse. So, shame and guilt is a very dividing emotional. And these are one of the many amazing conversations that we have every day. Monday through Friday, right here on the Season of Self Love Podcast, with myself, Naomi Banks, as well as our resident therapist, Dr. Will Washington of Washington Wellness Institute. Come by. Reality of our relationship. Come by. A lot of times, we're afraid of how people look at us, and so that compassion can't enter. You can hit us on the website, the Season of Self Love Podcast. Dot com. Actually, this with the truth. Is it? Hey, it's your girl, you got it, Naomi Banks, and make sure you tune in every Thursday night to Ask Naomi Bridge and the Gap Podcast, where we talk about everything from love, sex, relationship, cultural differences, and so much more. We're bridging the gap between them all, and we even talk about spiritual uplifting. You need to stop by me and Dr. Mike Mike, as well as the BTG group. We have some amazing guests that come through. You never know. Make sure you tune in Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to xnaomi.com and tell them Naomi. All right, well, welcome back to the Season of Self Love Podcast. This is your girl, Goddess Naomi Banks, here, and uh, we are talking about living a life abundantly. And today's topic is all about gratitude. So before we dive in, um, let's get ready to focus on power. Creating life filled with joy and prosperity. But before we start, let's take a moment to reconnect, to connect with gratitude through a brief guided meditation, all right? So if you are in a safe space right now, I invite you to close your eyes or just simply soften your gaze, okay? Now I want you to take a deep breath in. Now slowly exhale. 
let's do that again. Inhale deeply. Now hold for a moment. Now as you exhale, I want you to allow any tension that you have to leave your body. Now I want you to think of a person that fills you with gratitude. Now I want you to picture it clearly in your mind. Now I want you to feel the warmth of that gratitude spreading throughout your body. Filling your heart with appreciation and joy. Now, now I want you to take a moment to just truly savor this feeling. Now as you continue to breathe, I want you to allow yourself to relax. To relax deeper into this sensation of gratitude. I want you to imagine this feeling expanding. Touching every part of your life. Bringing peace. Happiness. And fulfillment. and bring your awareness back to the present moment. Now, if you are new here to the Season of Self Love Podcast, this is something that we do every day, Monday through Friday. All right. All right, thank you for sharing this space with me, all right? All right, my beautiful people. All right, so let's dive into today's topic, the power of gratitude and how it can be the foundation for an abundant mindset. All right, gratitude is such a transformative practice because it shifts our focus from what we were lacking, what we're lacking, to what we already have. You see, when we focus on the blessings in our lives, we start to realize just how much abundance we are already surrounded by. You see, research has shown us that practicing gratitude can improve our psychological and our emotional well-being. It can boost our mood and even strengthen our immune system. And it's amazing how something as simple as focusing on the positive can have such a powerful impact on our lives. You see, in my own life, I've noticed that when I intentionally practice gratitude, I feel more connected, I feel more fulfilled, and I feel more optimistic. You see, gratitude, it helps me to recognize the abundance that I already have which makes it easier to welcome even more abundance in my life. So let's talk about some practical ways to make gratitude a daily habit. So here's a few of my favorite gratitude practices that can help shift your perspective. A gratitude journal. This is something that we talked about before. So at the end of each day, you write down three things that you are grateful for. And it doesn't have to be big. Sometimes the smallest blessings have the greatest impact. You see, this practice helps us to reflect on the good in our day and it go to bed with a positive mindset. So this is what I do now. Now, I've added something extra on, especially after reading and listening to Change Your Paragon, Change Your Life. Your paradigm, excuse me, Change Your Life. When I wake up in the morning, Before I get out the bed, I don't even get on my knees and pray. 
what I do is I sleep on my side mostly. What I do is I turn over with my face in my pillow, my arms like to my chest, and I say a silent prayer. And within that prayer, I thank God for 10 things. Those list of 10 things is what I am grateful for. My family. And each one of my family members, my immediate family, my mother, my father. But not only that, but I say why I'm thankful for them. My daughters and why I am thankful for them. My husband and why I am thankful for him. My broken hearts. Yes. And why I am thankful for them. My career, the adult industry, and why I am thankful for it. My siblings, my sister, my brother, why I am thankful for them. My friends that become not only my friends, but also my brothers and sisters of love and why I am thankful for them. And it's about to fuck y'all up, but my foes, yes. And why I am thankful for them. And my fans. Because everything in my life I am grateful for. The good, bad, and the ugly. Because trust and believe there has been a gift in every single one of them. I can no longer see a bad in anything anymore. Because there has been gifts in every single one of them. Then I didn't understand it. Now I do. Now I really do. So now my gratitude journal looks different. Even the way that I talk, even the way that I see things looks different. It just does. So even when I do have those, those woe me days, because we're going to have them. But then I can do what? I can think about what I have. I can say those three things that I have. Or I can say those ten things I have. Or I can write those down. And I'm not even talking about the home that I purchased. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about my family members. Even though my father is not here on this earth with me today. But there were still things that I've learned from my father. There's still a part of my father that is within me that is very daring for me. That is a part of me, that is a part of my makeup. And without that, without him being here on this, uh, there would be no me. Does that make sense? So for me, Man, and it, it and so let me say this because it was when I was like, man, we, we talk about gratitude a lot. Probably every month and somewhere, somehow. But you know what? We, we can keep talking about it. We can flip gratitude in so many different ways. We can. I'm actually thinking about making a whole month of we just speak about gratitude. That would be very interesting on how many ways that we can truly talk about gratitude. Because I guarantee you there are so many different ways that we can talk about it. We can learn about it. We can flip it. That's going to be, that's, that's going to be a very interesting and exciting um, um, assignment for me to do. I'm excited for that one. Okay. Let's go on to the next one, the morning affirmation. We talked about this in, on um, a Monday show about starting your day with affirmations. I, I am grateful for um all of the blessings in my life, that's the affirmation. Or I welcome abundance with open arms, can set positive tones for your day and mindful moments. Take a few moments throughout your day to pause and reflect on something that you appreciate. It could be a kind words from a friend, a delicious meal, or even the beauty of nature around you. See, if you have a gratitude practice you like to share, I would love to hear about it. You can share with me on social media or in our private community page. 
where we are building a network and a support of inspiration. But let me go back to the mindful moments for a moment. The one thing that I like about my move here to um, Nevada, to Las Vegas, um, is that I am surrounded by beautiful mountains. I am surrounded by beautiful mountains, and the scenery is amazing. So as I look out my window when I'm standing in a hallway, it's just there are three different um, views that I get. And especially in a wintertime, one way I can see snow mountains, the snow on the mountains. And I look another way, and I just see mountains with no snow. You understand? So I'm, I'm getting like three different views of what the world looks like on that day. Does that make sense? So I'm seeing a different perspective of a world in one day, just in that moment, just in that, in, that, in that moment right there. And so that right there would give me just a sense of peace. I remember in the beginning of the season of self-love last year, around the same time last year, and I remember speaking about me getting so busy that sometimes that I have to take time, you know, um, take time away from what I'm doing and go into my, my golden rose room, which is my meditation room. And I would just, you know, look out the window and stare out the window at the house that's across from me and just stare, find something to just stare for that moment, just staring out. Just to take my focus off of stress or whatever that's happening and it will take me somewhere. I know we talked about visualization the other day as well, but in that mindful moment there, it will take me there. It allowed me to be at another place. that I'm blessed to have an, a, another room that's my own that I call my meditation room. If you would have asked me that about 20 years ago, shit, when I was in my early 20s, I was living in a one-bedroom. At one time, I was living in my car. Me and my oldest daughter was living out of our car, out of my car. When I was going through, no, when my first separation, I wasn't going through a divorce at that time. But yeah, yeah, damn near, if not homeless, yes. In my early 20s, yes, I was. Still working, still working, trying to figure it out. And I think about now, I think about when I moved to California. Me and my two girls. We was in a one-bedroom apartment. I remember giving the girls a bedroom. I slept on a blow-up mattress in the living room. We didn't even have a couch yet. I bought them beds before I even bought me a bed. I was in California for... I want to stay six years before I bought me a bed. Matter of fact, no, I lie. Yeah, I slept on a futon probably for six or seven years before I got me a bed, and I bought and I purchased my my first bed from a garage sale. But my very first luxury bed. I actually bought, wow, in 2012 when I left the industry. Yep. When I left the industry. I was all just getting the girls' room together, getting their, their, yeah, I was all about taking care of my girls taking care of my girls, taking care of the outside house. I wasn't thinking about myself. Myself, I was thinking about business-wise. That's it. Thinking about business-wise, thinking about building Naomi. And I'm sorry, I just, I just kind of, you know, kind of turned, turned left on that corner, but I just thought about it. That was a moment right there. 
I just thought about it like, damn, I didn't. I didn't get a, a, a full bed set, bedroom set until, damn, 2012. Wow. Damn. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. I was thinking about everything else. I was thinking about business. I was thinking about career. I wasn't thinking about myself, you know. And I was blessed to have a man with me who was on that same with me. You know, he, we wasn't thinking about us. We was thinking about building a business. We was thinking about the girls. We wasn't thinking about, you know, ourselves. We we did for ourselves. That's a blessing. You see how that went? That, that, that's a blessing in itself right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a blessing in itself right there. Yeah. All right, so I know what I said on Monday that I still hadn't really gotten into, well, I'm finished with the ebook, but I hadn't really put it together. And I said I really wasn't going to, um, I'm still deciding if I'm going to release it. Um, I'm kind of 80%, sure, I'm like 80 I'm like 70, 30. Did I say 80? I'm like 70, 30. Uh, I'm going to release it by the end of this series. Um, but I also I told you that I was going to kind of go into some of the chapters that, you know, that's in the ebook, and I might even release, you know, some of them, um, some of the worksheet pages as I talk about it. But I want to dive into, um, you know, some powerful insights from chapter two of the ebook, Living Life Abundantly. And then this chapter is titled Cultivating an Abundance Mindset. And it's all about shifting our thinking to welcome more joy and prosperity. And one of the most important points that we discuss in this chapter is how, to, uh, how gratitude is essential for an abundant mindset. So when we focus on gratitude, we train our minds to see possibility. Did y'all hear what I said? We focus, when we focus on gratitude, we train our minds to see possibility, to recognize opportunity, and to feel, to feel fulfilled in the present moment. I'm going to say that again because that seems so tongue-tied, to feel fulfilled in the present moment. You see, gratitude helps us to break free from the cycle of wanting more instead of appreci appreciating the richness of what we already have. And I want to make sure that we get this clear because appreciating what we have, the richness of what we have, and being satisfied, and what I mean is being satisfied, and I know I'm about to get it. I'm about to get, I'm about to get some slack. What I be being satisfied is when you just it's okay to want more. It's okay to want more. It is. It's okay to want more. But why you want to more appreciate what you already got. Does that make sense? It's okay to want more, but appreciate what you already got. So if you appreciate what you already have, you wanting more won't be so stressful. It won't be so much of a need or a thirst for it. Does that make sense? You see, a lot of times when we say that we won't, 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 we need, 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 because we're thinking of the lack of, a lack of not. Does that make sense? So I sit back and I think, I'm, 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 I'm speaking from my point of view, I think about what the things that I have. And honestly, I have everything that I need within my home to be a multi-billionaire. And I'm not just saying that shit. I'm for real. But because I was thinking about the lack of, what I was lacking of, that I, I wasn't using what I already have. And 
And it's like, no, this is where it has to change. And this is what happens when you have that. Did y'all hear me the other day when I talked about the um, the poverty mindset? Because I say I want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. And I'm doing the things. <laughs> but emotionally, I'm not connected to it. I'm just on that surface level of consciousness with it. I'm not deep and emotional with it. I don't really desire it. Because I'm still thinking the poverty level. I still got the fear there. You understand what I'm saying? So, but if I'm emotionally feeling it and understanding it and believe it. Because literally when I look around, I am sitting in a studio. Literally every home that I've been in, whether I was renting to own or renting, I've created a room where I monetize to make money, whether it was adult, whether it was a recording studio. Yes, a recording studio. Whether it was a little store, <laughs> whether it was a dungeon. Like literally, like honestly, like girl, I have so much stuff like, huh? And it's something that I used to always tell myself. You are a multi-million dollar company walking around here. I always said that, and I am. My net worth is amazing. <laughs> Naomi Banks' net worth is amazing. But I'm worth so much more. And the thing, the thing is, is that we all are. Everyone that is listening here is worth so much more. We all are so wealthy in abundance all around us, but we cannot see and appreciate it. Because we always think about the lack of. The lack of what we don't have. It's so funny, my 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 beautiful sister, I, I call her my little, my little big sister. Because not only has she showed me and allowed me to be her big sister, but she showed me how to be a big sister. And also showed me how to be a little sister. Because at times she has to be my big sister. But I remember sharing this conversation with her, and she was like, you know. We got to change this. We too much in the lack. And we are. And we got to get out of it. We got to get out of that. We have to appreciate our richness. We all got richness. I know it's a bunch of y'all that know that are writers. Start writing. Write those blogs. Write those stories. Write those books. Become a copywriter. Do whatever. Now is the time to do it. I know there's a lot of y'all out there that are could draw. Create your own podcast. Whatever it is that you do, put your best foot forward and do it. If you say, Naomi, I don't know how to do it, or I, I don't have any certificates. I don't. So, that's that man, Bob Proctor. That man was only in high school for two months. For two months. Yeah. So, he don't even have a high school education. worth millions. Some of the smartest people in the world are ones that don't have the education. 
You know, that used to trip me up a lot with myself. My thing is that I might not have all of those degrees as a doctor or a lawyer, and I would never, you know, put them down, but I myself have lived life. And my life experience of me going through and getting through. That's my certificate. That's mine. Those my lessons. And I'm sharing it with everyone. That's how I qualify. That's my qualification. So even though I continue to take these certifications, yeah, they all good and all, yeah. I take them because that's what people say you got to have, but I don't really need to have those. Because everything that I learned on there, it still doesn't equal to the life that I live, the people that I've met. The situations that I've been through, that I've overcome, None of that. So that's why I say I am so grateful for everything in my life, especially the adult industry, because the adult industry was where I found my purpose. Yes, the adult industry is where I found my purpose. Damn, Naomi, you found your purpose in there? Yes, I did. That is where that light was on bright. That wasn't ordained by God. I don't know how it wasn't. Let me tell you, I prayed in my car on my way to set. I prayed while I was on set. God was there right along with me. All along the way, every single day. Every single day. And still is. I don't have horror stories. I don't. Not only was I praying, but I had a praying grandmother. I had a praying mother. A praying auntie. We, we a praying family. But I, that's, man, I, when I tell you I be praying, I be praying. I be praying for my fans. <laughs> I do. I pray for all of y'all. I pray for my listeners. I do, but I just wanted to share that, 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 that little story with you. All right, let's get back to it. All right, <clears throat> actionable steps. Step one exercise that I encourage you to do is try the chapter is gratitude visualization. Now, we talked about a part of vis visualization the other day, and remember I told you about that little mouse? Yeah. Each day, visualize yourself living your dream life, and as you do, express gratitude for each part of it as it's already real. So for example, if you're visualizing a su success career, say thank you for this fulfilling work that brings joy and prosperity in my life. And the more you practice this, the more you'll start to feel the abundance in your current life. So look, so remember um, earlier this year, remember earlier this year when um, Dr. Will came aboard, remember that? And I was, I prayed, and I asked, and I willed about having a team of people to help me, asking for people. I needed help. I needed to ask for people. And I kept saying this is what I was going to have. I was going to have um, a therapist, a, res a resident therapist on staff with me to, to help assist me with some of these shows. And wham, who do I have? Dr. Will. But not only that, 
for the second season, I now have so many different amazing people that come on here and share their talent and their story that I didn't even know exist. That we are, we have become teammates in this that I didn't even know, that it would be bigger than what I can ever imagine. Like the season of self-love podcast, this is just a little corner. This is just a corner of what I have planned. And this is what I have planned. This ain't even what God got for me. I have planned of what I'm supposed to be doing. This is just what I've already put out there and what I've had planned. So just imagine if you start to write those things down of what you want to do. And you start to live what you're doing. See, I'm living. Part of my, see, I'm, I'm on here every day. I'm living it. Whether I'm making hundreds of thousands of thousands of dollars or not, I'm still living it. I'm still working it. Whether it's five, ten, a thousand, whatever, whoever's listening, I'm still living it. I'm no longer worrying about the numbers. I'm worried about one person. And that's you that's listening. Naomi, who is it? Yes. I, yep, you. Yep, you. So I am so grateful for you, my listener. Because when I created the Season of Self-Love podcast, I created it with you in mind. I know how it feels to not know how to love yourself. I know how it feels to not to tell someone how to love you. When they say, well, well what, are you, how, what are you looking for in love? How do I love you? And you can't explain to someone how to love you because you don't know how to love yourself. So no, how can we do that? All right, let's, let's create this. Let's do this. So Naomi, you share this with that person. So I'm sharing it with you. I'm sharing it with you. All right, so let's talk about this book challenge. This book challenge is starting on November 11th. On November 11th, and I am so excited. All right, so if you are excited to take these concepts even further, I love to invite you to join us on our upcoming 10-day book challenge starting November 11th. We'll be reading Bob Proctor's book, Change Your Paradigm, Change Your Life. It's an incredible guide on shifting your mindset, and it aligns perfectly with our theme of living life abundantly. During this challenge, We'll cover daily reflections, exercises, and discussion within our private community page to keep each other accountable. You can find the book on Amazon or in Audible, and I'll share links in the show notes for easy access. Um, this is more than just a book club. It's a journey towards transforming our mindset together, and I can't wait to see how this challenge helps you to grow and embrace abundance in a whole new way. Now, look, this, this group is 99 cents. Yes, I said 99 cents. 99 cents to get into the club. And also what I added is a Discord page. And the name of the group is called Abundant Minds Collective. 
That is the name of the group, Abundance Mind Collective. And once you sign up for this, I will send you an invite link to the Discord. Um, and this is something new that I am trying right now. So you're getting in at, at 99 cents at this ground level is a great time and a great, a great place um, for this um, to get in right now. Hmm. And I'm excited about it. I am. I have notes and everything for this. So let me tell you this, and I'm going to make sure that I say this. And I had um, did a blog the other day, and I wrote in a – did I write in a blog? I'm trying to remember if I wrote in a blog that um, – I, I listened to the Audible. I believe I, I spoke it. I listened to the Audible. Um, I listened to the Audible. So if it is better for you all to listen to the Audible, but I will be – Every day it will be something new. I will be doing voice notes both in the group as well as on Discord. On Discord, why I got Discord is because you can give notes as well. You can give voice notes as well um, on, the, um, on the Discord. That's why I did. With this new community group that I started, not on Facebook, but on the other, on the other community group, you cannot do the voice. Only I can do voice notes. So I wanted to kind of do them both. To where, and then with the other Discord, it comes directly to my phone, so I have that on me at all times. So I'm able to get messages back and forth from there. And I think it would be really cool. I think it'd be something really cool. Um, and I'm excited to do this on a trial basis, looking to truly do this every month um, with this. Um, with this, it, it's, it's not even a book club. That, and, and that's what is 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 beyond a book club because this book is amazing. And when I say it's, it's going to change your life, it truly it is going to change your life because it's it's changing mine. It's just elevating my life just even more. And it's just so I did. I'm telling you, if you if you listen to Monday's show, you got to go listen to it. If you didn't, go back and listen to it because I will tell you how I ended up with this with this book. And it, it was just like, it, it was meant to happen. It was meant to happen. Today, I feel so good. I, Man, I feel good because I am truly aligned in what I'm supposed to be doing. I wasn't supposed to be coming doing this before. Not until I sat and listened to that book. I probably listened to that book at least seven or eight times. Probably more than that. I've been listening on totally repeat, writing notes, repeat, going back and forth with my sister, my accountability partner. Back and forth, writing notes. And then I thought about this book thing at the last minute. I was getting ready to do another 30, 30 day. And someone was like, no, you need to bring this book in here. No, you need to do something different with that. No, let's let's leave that that's that 30 day. No, let's let's do a nice, sweet, short. Let's see, let's see what they get it. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what they get. <laughs> all right, my beautiful people. So now look, I love to hear from all of you. So what are some of your ways, what are some of the ways of gratitude that have impacted your life? And do you have any specific practices that help you to stay grounded um, in gratitude? Please share your experience with us on social media or in our private community group. And if you enjoyed today's episode, I love to hear your feedback. Let me know if there are any topics related to abundance or self-love that you would like for me to cover in future episodes. Your feedbacks mean so much to me, and it helps to shape this podcast into a resource that it truly serves you. I've got so tongue-tied today. Now, as we wrap today's episode, let's recap a few on key points that we discussed. Practicing gratitude. Remember, practicing gratitude is one of the most powerful ways to cultivate an abundance mi mindset. So by focusing on what we have, rather than what we lack, we can experience what? More joy, more what? Fulfillment, and what? Prosperity. And I want you to remember, if you're ready to dive deeper, Later on this month, we have our ebook that's coming. We have the free mini ebook, and then we have the full work workbook. It will be coming Living Life Abundantly. Like I said, 70-30, 70-30. And also, don't, don't forget to join our 10-day um, our book challenge um, for even more support and growth in our abundance journey, all right? Again, thank you so much for spending this time with me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. 
And I am grateful for this community that we're building together. Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the podcast. If you haven't, leave a review if you feel called to and share the episode with someone you think would enjoy it. But until then, I remember to live it abundantly and keep finding joy in every day, all right? Have a good one and such an amazing day, all right? Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovering and empowerment here at the Season of Self Love Podcast. Remember, embracing self love is a continuous journey, and we're so glad to have you with us. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave us a review. And don't forget to join our community on Facebook at Season of Self Love. Connect with like minded individuals who are also on their self love journey. Now, if you have any questions or topics that you'd like for us to explore, we love to hear from you. Email us at seasonofselflove at gmail.com and let your voice be heard. So until next time, take a moment for yourself today and remember, you are worthy of love, joy, and all the beautiful things that life has to offer.